Hallelujah. So Lord, we thank you that uh, you're looking for a people that you can delight in. You're looking for a people that um, know something of your delight. And so if you have um, your Bible, turn with me to Jeremiah chapter 9. And you know, as you read the book of Jeremiah, you feel God's heart that he's breaking for the wickedness and the rebellion of, his, of the people. And there's so much, saints, that God wants to give us. And I, I want you to understand something, that when you read the Hebrew Scriptures, the Old Testament, please don't read it and you know, oh, that's the sins of ancient Israel and dismiss it. What you need to do is look into your own heart and see, are these things alive in me and do I need to repent because I'm watching what, what God was doing with ancient Israel, God would do with me. What were happening in the nation of Israel, which was like an archetypical or a prototype nation. And everybody that's following has any relationship with the God of Israel. God uses this people to teach us. And um, we see Jeremiah lamenting and God lamenting through the prophet. And, and verse 13, and the Lord said be, that the land is ruined because they have forsaken my instruction. The word Torah means instruction. They've forsaken my instruction. Can we stop here and just repent for every time we have forsaken God's instruction? When God gave us instruction and we said no, or we said I don't know, or we said I don't like it, or we said I don't want it, and make a covenant with our own heart tonight that says to the Lord, when you give me Torah, when you give me instruction, I am going to write it on my heart, and I'm going to lay hold of it and do what you're telling me to do. This is a good place to say amen. Because if we're going to, listen to me, if we're going to be a people who are going to go and do some serious things for the kingdom of God, we have to put aside childish things. We have to repent of being uh, uh, infantile. We have to repent of being adolescents. We have to repent of, you know, being self-centered and self-focused and whingy and whining and complaining. I don't like this and I don't like that and I'm not, I'm not happy with this. All of that has to be repented of. <laughs>